Welcome back, everyone. As you know, my co-host, the devil on my shoulder, Dave, and my guardian angel, Angelina, have been co-hosting this podcast with me. They are with me once again in season three. But for this episode, they will be my special guests. Hello. Hiya. Dave and Angelina know everything about me because they're obviously with me all the time, but I don't know much about them. So I thought it'd be good if in season three, first episode, we get to know Dave and Angelina a little bit better and learn who they are when I'm not looking. What are they up to? What are they trying to do to me? And I'm sure you'll resonate with them their stories because we all have similar voices in our head um, when we often feel conflicted feel different ways about something it's our devil and angel talking so i thought why not interview them let's hear from them well obviously i am suman's angel so i'll be taking all the angel related questions really oh my god if anybody has been listening to this podcast for as little as two seconds, they know who the devil is and who the angel is. Yes, also devils tend to have sort of nice accents, don't they, like mine? Oh yeah, that is actually true. They always have sort of a British accent. I mean, yes. every villain in every cartoon or movie has a British accent. What's up with that? Well, it's because hell's a very, um, you know, well-to-do place. We don't let just anybody in. So if you're working there, you tend to be from an upper class, you know? Oh, but there are upper... I mean, there are upper classes in America and the rest of, you know, the world. Yes, we don't like American scam run hell. For goodness sake, it has to be run by British demons. We're the best. Best in the business. Oh, that's saying that Americans are bad and that the British are evil. That's not a nice thing to say. Well, you know, the British are best at the best of being evil. Why do you say that? Because of the British politics, maybe? Well, yes. You see, we've been we've been mastering this for over fifty thousand years. You know, we 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 know what we're doing. And maybe if we lose the next election, then Americans might take over the hell region. But right now, it's the English devils who run hell. Although I'll tell you, the Koreans gave us a bloody close run last election. Ah, uh, human politics are so confusing. I know. So guys, I've always been very, very curious. And last night, I couldn't really sleep. I tried to pretend to sleep and then just hear you guys talk. What do you get up to when I'm not looking? But then I thought, why don't I just confront you and ask you? And what better way to do it than on our podcast? Well, Suman, I am an open book, so you can ask me anything. And I will assure you, everything I do for you is out of love and concern. What about when you ate her last cookie? What? That's a lie. I never ate anybody's cookie or biscuit. That is a flat out lie. And I will not stand And I was it. out. You know I was out because I told you I was going out with the boys. Dave, that's so horrible to say about me. I'm not lying. Okay, it's only a cookie. Never mind. But yeah, Dave, you know what's been happening with my life recently. And I just think I'm too yes, upon. It's fucked. I'm just at a point where I'm I just can't take it anymore. Because that's what she said. I was. Oh God! I, I thought I thought there was something between me and Rob, right? Yes. Who would have thought that Rob was a stalker? Break up with me. Yeah, but also break up with me when I showed interest. Oh. Well, I mean, you didn't grab the bull by the horns, did you? Hmm. Dave does have a point, and what? you know I hate I hate agreeing with him. But Thank Suman, you. There are certain aspects of your life that you're still. How do I say this? Quite naive about. I mean, yes. That thing with Rob, you waited too long and he was playing hard to get. I mean, it was bright as day. It was obvious. And he's probably slightly out of your league. Oh, well, yeah, I know that. That homeless man at the bus stop. He'd be a good, a good guy for you. You could definitely get him. But you never know who that homeless guy might be. What if he's a serial killer? What if he's an ex-actor who's fallen on hard times? <laughs> well, true, but you know, I think the point is you have to really get to know a person before yes. letting them in your life. Okay. 
I didn't really get my answer, but never mind. Let's move on. So, Angelina, our listeners really want to know how you feel about the fact that you're basically my second angel, not my first, and how yes. you rebound. Managed... Am I what you expected, or is the life on Earth what you expected it was going to be, or is there anything that has taken you by surprise? Well, that's a very interesting question. Well, I have to say in the beginning, when God informed me that Angela will no longer be your angel, I was a little bit worried because this never happened before. I was thinking, who is this human that they made an angel give up on them? Do you know what I mean? So I really thought, oh, I, I hate to say this, I really thought you were a very complicated person. But you know, once I got to meet you, I realized you're really nice and kind and intelligent and hardworking, but that you do have some issues that we still need to work on, like trusting other people, yes. um, jumping to the conclusion, having self-doubt. But you know, those are parts of being human and a lot of people deal with them. She's basically saying you're oh, fucked. No, Angela, hold on a second. Angela had to go back because of Dave, because they broke up. But still, I think you let Dave get to your head too much. I think you still need to learn how to resist him. Like me. You can't resist me. Oh, yes, I can. Look at these legs. Why don't you teach me and our listeners, Angelina, how to resist devils like Dave? Why don't we do a little role play? Dave, please be a good sport. Approach Angelina and she can show us how to resist you. You want me to flirt with her now? Flirt? I didn't say flirt. Okay, well, whatever you want to do, let's do a little role play. You're trying to get into her head and she's going to resist you, okay? Action. I know I'm a little bit flustered. I don't actually normally do this very much. but um, Flustered? I know it's a bit strange for me to come... Uh, yes, I'm a bit flustered. Oh, come on, Dave. We're meant to be at a bar. We don't know each other. This is an improv. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Um, I know I'm a little flustered. Okay, take two. Hello there. I'm terribly sorry to... um, to, I hope not bothering you while you're here. I, it's not... Sorry, I'm just a bit nervous, you see. Um, I just wanted to say, like, your style is really cool. I love this little shirt you've got with the whole, like, peace, world peace thing. You know, I really respect that. And you've got a kind of like, I don't know, a sexy sort of Greta Thunberg thing going on. And um, I just wanted to say, you know, I really like your vibe and perhaps we could... Uh... What are you doing here? Are you, are you drinking with friends or what? Oh, sorry. My parents taught me not to speak with strangers. Bye-bye. Wait, but I mean, if you don't ever speak to strangers, how are you going to meet anybody? All well, your friends I are mean, with strangers you're already creepy. I mean, okay, I'll I'll put it down. Now. Oh, I'm well, creepy. I I try to be as polite as telling possible. Telling me I look like Greta Thunberg. She's still a teenager, is she not? But she's like twenty years old, isn't she? Is she? I think so. Well, I fucking hope so because otherwise I'm a pedo. I didn't. Wait, can well, someone Google? Was... Can we can we get the Googlers, please? Sue man, can you Google? She's twenty one years old. She's fucking 21, you see? Oh, is she? You're calling me a fucking pedo. I just wanted to get your number. <laughs> you bitch. I don't want to date you. Well, okay. I don't want to date you too. So at least we can agree on something. Oh, my God. Dave, you gave up so easily. You well, I don't... Just... I... She called me a pedo. Where's your inner devil? That you could have apologized. You could have made her fall in love. And then two months later, just ghost her. That's how you... Yes, do... but not... I mean, I could tell she was a tough nut to crack. Yeah, but you didn't even try. Suman, this is my tactic. I was trained under God never to fall under devil's spell. And that's why Dave um, can't stand me. Well, I don't think he can can't stand me, but he's having a hard time with yes, me. Yes, I can't crack her. Mm. And I love it. Okay, so um, Dave, just coming to you, how has this journey been like for you? you? Were born with me? Well, you're born with me, but like since I was born, you are not my first. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Well, how has the experience been like being my devil? It must have felt very special. 
You know what? I'll paint you the short. You want the short version or the long version? I want the long version. Okay. I'm interested well, too. Well, the long version is obviously. I mean, my lifespan is much longer than yours, and my life is much more significant. You're a more blip on the lifespan of myself. And so when I was told that my last human had finally died, unfortunately, I was not able to corrupt him, and he did end up in heaven. Ooh. Therefore. I was placed with a shit person. Normally, if you're like, you know, you're fucking smashing it, they give you really cool people to manipulate. My fucking cousin is with Johnny Depp right now. You know what he's doing with him? He's doing fucking cocaine on Amber Heard's old textbooks. Right, and so I'm sorry. Dave, so yes. Dave, if I understood well, you are a failure as a devil. No, let's just stop this talk now. I failed in my <gasps> last job, but that was oh. not my first job. I didn't know this. No, I'm 20 to 5. I've had 5 failures and 20 wins. But still. Yeah, still, we all fail, you know. And you're going to fail again this time? No, you're fucking corrupted to the max. You're crazy. You're going straight <laughs> to hell. Oh, no, no. Not under my watch. She will be your sixth failure. I will promise you that. I saw her walk past three homeless people today. Oh, <gasps> so man? Didn't even look them in the eye. Because um, somebody told me that if you give them money, then they get used to sitting there. And... <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Fucking hell! You never been on benefits, have you? Oh yes. You didn't. You didn't mind receiving money then, did you? Yeah, but what if they spend it on drugs? Buy them all drugs, is what I say. No. No, 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 You don't no, want no. him to be warm for the night with a nice belly full of cocaine. And also, the local council does help people, so if you are. <laughs> Do you know who runs the local council? Who? Fucking demons. Really? That's not true. That's why it's so fucked. Where do you get that information? I do not trust you. Well, yes, don't get me wrong. There is, the, there is the angels running the bloody Good Samaritans and Red Cross. See? But we run the council. We have hold of the real money. What was my question? What is it like being my devil? Let's have the short answer so we don't go off topic the journey well okay the, the short version is basically i got stuck with you i was kind of hoping that you get hit by a truck quite early in your life and i get to move on and go with somebody else unfortunately you keep living for some reason so i have to corrupt you and bloody hell you're so fucking young it's going to be what another 50 years till you die so i've got fucking age until i gotta move on and since i've known you my life has fucking tanked. Oh, same! I used to have a nice house with a nice job. Now I'm doing a tin pot podcast with some rando <laughs> while my fucking wife is in heaven getting ploughed by fucking, I don't know, Jesus or something. Ex-wife. I mean, am I not your favourite? Of all the people I've had? Yeah. No. Huh? Bot- bottom oh. half, definitely. That's rude. Are you kidding me? I used to work with some of the biggest people you've ever known. Like who? Fucking Jimi Hendrix. He was one of mine. Okay. Oh, <gasps> you corrupted him? Of I know who Jimi Hendrix Suma is. I have know. culture. I know you know, but Suma doesn't know. She's been living under a rock most of her life. Jimi what? <laughs> Hendrix. He's one of the most famous musicians ever. Think Beyonce, but bigger. Cause of death. He fucking drowned because I gave him some heroin. He couldn't handle it. <gasps> Why would you do something to such an artist? Shame on you, Dave. He wanted it. All I did was supply him with the goods. So, Dave. Yes, you enabled him. Have, have you got a hand in trying to make this podcast a failure as well? I Are you kidding me? I wanted to make some fucking money from it. Oh, amazing. Because I was just worried. Because everything I do, you want to corrupt it, don't you? Now, we will also be taking some questions from our Insta page for Dave and Angelina. And our first question is from Dude for Life. He's from the Midlands. Nice username. Dude for Life. And the question is, how do you make someone obsessed with you? Oh, well, I wanted to say obsessed is not really a good thing because mm-hmm. if you become obsessed too much with somebody, sooner or later you will enter his nasty territory. I mean, I watch thriller movies to know what's coming. <laughs> there has to be a mutual, I guess, there has to be a mutual attraction. 
So I don't know, complimenting them, asking them about their day, talking about, you know, mutual topics that you like. So yeah, boring. if something is that boring. Talk about falling in love. I'm already falling asleep. You don't you don't fall in love by making connections. Enlighten me then. What you need to do is you need to form a some sort of obsession. The best way to do that is to control their mind, their feelings, their emotions, their thoughts. To take it in your hand and squeeze it in submission. Now, I think the best way to do that is to be consistently inconsistent. If they don't know how you're going to behave, they will crave you. Much like a gambling addict craves the reward of the gambling, of the bet, because they don't know when it's going to happen. If you constantly reward them... That's so toxic! Get bored of you. That's, well, that's a toxic relationship. That's horrible. They will adore you, though. Don't you want to have him fawn over you? That's the game, isn't it? Be unpredictable and you keep obsessing over them because once you have clarity in life about anything, you're not obsessing, you're at peace. But if you don't, you're constantly trying to fill that knowledge gap of like, why did they do this? Or why didn't they do this? Why did they say this? What does that mean? And next minute, they're everything for you and you're all, they're just consuming your time. You're obsessed but in fairness what you're obsessed with is the gap the disconnect you feel with them and you really want to connect with them you want to have a genuine connection and you're thinking about how can I do that but you'll never get it with them you'll never they're just feeding you uh, breadcrumbs but wouldn't you like to be the one feeding breadcrumbs for once no you're always eating breadcrumbs out of somebody else's hand how about this time they're eating breadcrumbs out of your hand and you have all the power, Suman, the power to control, to wield. Because I've learned, thanks to Angelina, how to fill the void inside me in a healthy way and not in a toxic way because I'm sure it doesn't he could last. Fill your void. No, breadcrumbs never satisfy anyone. What about a whole loaf? Mm, no. Also, Dave, what do you do if somebody becomes obsessed with you but you haven't even tried? Oh, uh, no, one of my exes was trying, because she was so passionate and she loved me too much, she was too obsessed. My tactic of manipulating had been too effective. And she chased me down in a car onto the pavement and I had to run and she tried to run me over. True story. Did you report her? I mean, this girl is dangerous. No, I don't think she's dangerous. I think this girl, good on her. She's trying to teach him a lesson. Good on her? Try to fucking run me down. So, man, excuse me. I can't I'm believe you're sorry. saying... What if it was the other way around? Thank you. What if I'm a man sorry. tried to run, run over a woman? And I said, bloody good job. Kill the bitch. You'd say, <laughs> Jesus. I think it's just what's happened with Rob recently. Ah. I... I've just not been my best. Yeah. I've just recently broke up, guys. Like, it's been two days. Come on. And how, how are you How are you actually getting over it? Are you I'm my, actually way... not bad, but I think it's just you constantly are in touch with somebody. You're talking, texting, calling, and then it's not there. In a way, it's a relief. Yes. But also, in a way, you kind of feel a bit like, shit, I wasted a lot, a lot of my time. Honestly, try wasting fucking two years or something. <laughs> there you go. That makes me feel better then. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Listen, Suman, in these situations, after breakup, the best thing to do is to pamper yourself. Make yourself a nice warm bath. Oh, I've done eat that. Eat a lot of chocolate. Listen to your favorite music. You know, do the things you like and surround yourself with positive people. And just stay under the covers all day and not leave the house and just think about him and cry and eat ice cream i highly recommend it no that's bad advice you can cry but not cry over him take it as an opportunity to learn from the experience and then eventually get over it and move on yes you might have lost your last last chance to for, for love you know no i don't think so rob love last chance no way she's not it doesn't mean she's crying about him she's just crying because you know she was hoping this will be a good relationship and now you know the fairy tale's over yes it is most definitely over for you and why was why did it become over suman do you want to share with the listeners as to why that happened yeah because rob was very toxic 
I mean, he's not nice as a boyfriend. He never compliments you. He never replies to your good morning or good night text messages. He never turns up on dates. He never, like, does anything. He was, like, still my technical guy. He never really changed. Yes, but... But he would say he likes me, and that's it. His actions don't really align with his words. What about your actions? What do you mean? Well, what were you doing while you were dating, Rob? Were you... So much. Signed up to any dating apps? Are you hiding something from me? What do you mean, dating apps? Were you on a dating app while you were still dating another man? Oh, <gasps> Suman, don't tell me. Um, I don't understand the question. This isn't a fucking trial, Suman. Don't be pleading the fifth. When you were seeing a man. Uh-huh. Were you also still signed on to the dating apps? I might have uh, accidentally, uh, mistakenly not deleted them. On the f- like, I don't know how you to... mistakenly didn't delete these apps, did you also mistakenly message a young gentleman? Um, well, what happened was, you know, these apps, they're so complicated to use. So I went on oh, settings. Oh, yes, extremely complicated. I tried swipe to... right, swipe left. So, man, you have guilty written all over your face. <gasps> How scandalous. No, no. Dave told me to do it. Dave, what did you do? I didn't tell her no such thing. No, hear me out. This is what he did. He was pretending to be on the phone with his friend, but indirectly telling me, oh, it's okay to be on the dating apps when you're dating someone. Just keep your options open. You never know. There could be somebody better out there for you. And I heard all that. And me being a very naive, innocent person, I just got influenced i never thought the day would come when you would blame me for your foolish licentious greedy errors okay fine i'm on the dating app because i had no trust in rob and i was very insecure with him wow and let's just flip that scenario no before you flip it that was not the reason for me breaking up with rob he called me the b word (gasps) oh Oh, that's a no-no. What the B word? Fat blob. A fat blob? Yeah. Oh, so really the F B word. Yeah. And you're really only a very small blob. You're not a big blob. Exactly. He lied. Maybe a yeah, medium blob at most, but that's quite harsh from him there. Do you know what to do in a situation when a man calls you an F B? Yes. Just tell him his penis is small. That makes them go into depression mode. To be fair, he's so aware of it. I mean... Well, Suman, I have to... I can't believe this, but I have to agree with Dave. You know, whenever he does something evil, he will admit it. I mean, he will uh, he will boast about it. But this time, I actually believe him. I think Thank you. you... You are blaming him for something that you have done. Listen, it's okay if you change your opinion about somebody, if you don't want to be in a relationship. But an honest woman first finishes a relationship before starting a new one. I didn't know where that sentence was going to (laughs) go. Listen, young lady, you should have, you should, you should know better. I mean, haven't I taught you anything? Well, I was on the day now, but I wasn't really talking to anybody. I think it was just there for me to feel a little bit better and... Yeah, because I felt so lonely in that relationship. I don't think there's anything wrong if you're dating somebody and they're an absolute wet blanket and it's, you're already planning to leave the relationship. It's the last few weeks of the relationship. Hmm. All you're starting to do is put some feelers out and see if you can find someone else you know, to fulfill the void that will soon be appearing. Yes, and I did find someone so much better. He's just an absolute sweetheart. Yes, tell us about this new man. No, because every time I tell you something, Dave, you just put an evil eye on it or you're trying to ruin it in some way. So I'm not going to say anything. Well, I'm going to tell you about him then. Oh, you know him, Dave? Wait a minute. Dave knows him and I don't? (gasps) That's only because he's stalking me. I've been helping Suman with her flirting techniques. But you... I thought you shared things with me, Suma. Oh, I feel so left out and so... No, Angelina. Honestly, he just takes my phone and goes through everything. That's how he knows. She begged me, Angelina. She begged me to help her. She said, how do I flirt for young man? I said, give it here. I'll help you. 
Oh, the humanity. I am failing as an angel. Oh, no. You won't be Dave's sixth failure. Oh, I'm failing so bad. No, yes. no. Listen to me, Suman. You have to resist Dave and his evil doings. Okay, I'll try. Well, it's hard to resist when I'm getting her results. She's getting men knocking on her door asking to marry her. You know, the results are there for everybody to see. But... Is he a nice man? I think we should try and establish that first. Well, I mean, are you a nice woman? I don't know if you deserve a nice man. Um, I, I think I do. I mean, if you minus dear from me, I am perfect. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, I know you're perfect. That's why um, I'm helping you. Anyways, this episode was not meant to be about my dating life. <laughs> I know, but it's so interesting, <laughs> It is interesting. I know it's literally, we could do a whole season. I actually could do a, a whole Netflix series on this and I think people will really enjoy oh, it. Oh, where is Rob anyway? We, we've been talking about him, but where is he? What happened to him? Dave? Last I heard, he moved to Mexico because it's legal there to sleep with donkeys. What? He's into bestiality? <gasps> well, he had took quite a shine to our pet donkey, didn't he, Suman? Hmm. Yeah, and that's one thing we always argued about as well. Came out in the middle of the night and he was milking it. And it's not a female donkey. <gasps> I will have to report this to the animal <laughs> animal sanctuary. Donkeys are such beautiful creatures. They don't deserve to be abused by some zoophile. <gasps> I know, I know. I think he needs to be reported to the police, but he's on the run at the moment. Oh, That's why he fled to Mexico. Oh. Yes. Yes, he's done for donkey bashing. How do you know that? Wait a minute, were you there with him? No, goodness me, give me some bloody respect. I don't oh, do yeah, you things. love goats, I forgot. Wait, what I, is it with four-legged animals? I don't animals? love goats. This you is love a, this goats, is a... he loves no, donkeys. No, the... What's next, cows, chickens? The goat is a spurious rumour spread by Robert to cover his own tracks. Now, I stick to angels, humans and devils, if you don't mind me. No bestial nature here. What about pigeons? Pigeons, no, they're merely for sport. Um, but, yes, I came out in the garden one night, have a cigarette, just a late night cigarette, as you do. And I see Rob bent over double, pumping away like a madman, donkeys braying, I had to chase him out the garden. Oh, my dear Lord, I will have to wash my ears with soap. Honestly, it was absolutely covered as well. Well, why didn't you report him? What, and say, bloody hell, I just saw some guy wanking off my donkey. In the, Dave, I can't... behave yourself. We're going off track again, everyone. Sorry, Sue, man. I know this podcast gone a little bit left, hasn't it? A little bit left field. Okay, let's just take another question from a listener. How many donkeys did Dave? Rob... <laughs> right. Uh, question for Angelina. Can you see the future? And if so, is it fixed or can it be changed? What an interesting and intelligent question. Well, I'll tell you, my little bean. So the future is not as easy as people think. The future is ever-changing. The future is directly affected by our choices. If I choose now to punch Dave in the face... <laughs> what? <laughs> but then I'll end up in, in uh, heaven prison because God does not allow angels to... Choose violence. ...to be physical. Yes. But because I choose not to punch Dave, even though he annoys the heck out of me, that means I won't go to prison. So this is my choice not to get into trouble. So my future is very bright. Oh, I can definitely see the future. I see. Dave, nobody asked you. Well, I'm going to tell yeah, you. Yeah, Dave. Are you Angelina? No. I can see a small part of the future. I see... I see a woman. <laughs> okay. Bent over a bag of mashed potato. Oh, I see where it goes. She's fat, disgusting, heaving. Uh, wait, it's Suman. Hey, she's not fat. How dare no, you? No, not yet. This is the future, darling. And how's things going on with this guy that I've just started talking to? No, in this future, you're alone. Oh, <gasps> why? Yes. Well, when you start eating mashed potato out of, a, out of a trash bag, it tends to put men off. Why would it do that? I don't know. I think, I don't know. Something happened. Maybe, maybe your business fell through. <gasps> I can see your future too, Angelina. 
You're walking around holding hands. Oh, really? Enlighten me. And she's injecting heroin into her toes. What? Oh, my God. She's living on Skid Row in California. Angelina? She's got no t- it's Angelina, yeah. She's got the same T-shirt no. on. What, what are you on about? I guess you've got a pretty strong heroin addiction. Why would I become a heroin addict? Oh, I know why. It's because Suman turned to the devil. So you failed. And then, you know, you sort of start careening down a negative spiral and up banging a load of heroin. That is impossible. Well, stranger things have happened. No way. Why, why, would, why would I inject it in my toes? So when you've been taking heroin for a very long time, the normal tracks that you use, such as arms... Um, groins, they are blocked up and fucked up and your veins collapse, so you can't use them anymore. Then you have to start injecting it in between your toes. But how do you know so much? I, th- I think he's talking from personal experience. Uh, no. <laughs> I will say heroin doesn't agree with me, but I do. But I'm a well-read gentleman, and a gentleman must have knowledge of all things, even that which is ungentlemanly. Right. Let's take another question. Yes, I've got a question come through from Robo Chicken fifty five nine eight. He says, "What is the best cake, and what is the best cake topping?" Oh, I love this question. Who's it for? Oh, come on, Suman. It's obviously for you. <laughs> Choose wisely, Suman. Don't act coy. I know you're always well, eating. The- Yes, that's because I've been. Well, I will say you actually look quite an good emotional moment. mess. Well, I am. Have I have I lost weight? I think you've definitely lost weight. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, this music to my ears. Yes, for now. I mean, I'm sure we'll be back on like that. Yes, that can easily be done. Yes, but what's your favorite type of cake? I like anything really. Um, my favorites are vanilla cream cake. Red velvet, chocolate, cheesecake, Ooh. and then oh, a, a special cheesecake. cake that I talked about in season one, where you squash all the different cakes and then rebake it. Oh, yes. Oh, yummy. What did you used to call that? You used to, what did you call that? Five slut cake or something. What was your name for it? What? She used to put, she used to put all the cakes together and then eat them. What did you call it? You've mashed them together in one, like a red velvet, a carrot cake, Victoria's sponge, chocolate cake, and a salted caramel. And you called it something. Do you remember what you called it? I thought it was called Frankenstein cake. That's the one, yes. Frankenstein cake. Right. Let's stop talking about cake because I am so tempted right now. Let's take another question. We have a question from Beautiful Sam. Probably an ugly bastard. Aww, why How do you know it's a, a man? You can never see a, a woman can be a bastard as well. Well, yeah. I just said it could be ugly. I said it could be an ugly bastard. A bastard can be a man or a woman. What if she's neither? But if you put beautiful, if you put beautiful in your name, you're usually either really fucking hot and stuck up, or you're a fucking fuggo. Well, they are asking whoever it is. To describe heaven and hell. Because these guys, obviously, they want to know where they're heading. I can tell you where they're heading. (laughs) Where? Hell. Angelina, how's heaven like? Well, heaven is a beautiful place. So you have clouds everywhere. Everybody's very positive. And all you have to do to end up there is to be a good human. To help one another. To respect others. Don't do any crimes. You know, don't kill anybody. What about uh, if you've, like, stolen from a shop a chocolate bar once? Well, then you go to purgatory. Oh, well, that's everybody then, because I know everybody listening to this podcast has stolen at least a chocolate bar. Yeah, but there's a difference between as long as you repent for stealing that chocolate bar. I so, see. So, you know, you can do something. I mean, st- stealing a chocolate bar is much better than killing somebody. As long as you regret it and you work on be- work on becoming a better human being then you can still go to heaven but if not if you continue stealing chocolate bars well uh, what uh, 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 animals are allowed to go to heaven yes of course there's plenty of dogs and cats and hamsters and rabbits uh, there's a big misconception that animals don't have a soul that is idiotic 
Mm-hmm. I, I think God messed up there. I think he shouldn't have given them souls. Why? Because they're disgusting little <gasps> beasts, aren't they? No <gasps> way. What, even goats? Even especially goats. Uh... I don't know where this goat this goat stuff came from. I have no interest in goats. They stink. They're hairy. They Wait eat a everything. second. Didn't you say in a couple of podcasts before that you were part goat? I remember you saying something like that. My father is part goat. So I'm like an, I'm like a quarter goat. So <laughs> Look, you're I technically an animal. <laughs> well, I would say. I mean. <laughs> Maybe, perhaps. Okay, Dave, your turn. Describe hell for us. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful place. No, it's not. Be no, honest. It's not. I'm telling you how good it is. You walk in, and immediately you're greeted by the symphony of cries and screams of a billion people, all together, boiling in pain and agony. The lakes of fire. Also, I have to say, the buffet in hell is extremely good. What do you eat? I'm actually quite curious. What do you eat in hell? The tears and secretions of damned souls. There's nothing like extra salty tears on your cornflakes in the morning. I'm a young priest who's failed and has ended up in hell. Priest tears really are the sweetest. Sounds horrible. And we sometimes eat them as well. Just, you know, lop off an arm or a leg and just cook it up on the fire. Really? Yeah, that's what sometimes you have to eat, you know? Oh. But you eat in the human world, don't you? Yes, but, well, I mean, we don't have human food in hell. And I will say, off the record, that the food here is simply sublime. Oh, are you? Oh, I'm actually I'm quite interested. Are you allowed to eat humans in the human world? Or is no, that a special rule? Only in hell. You can only eat a dead human. Now, don't get me wrong, if I'm walking down the street and I see someone hit by a car and they're already dead, it would be frowned upon. However, I could probably get away with having a little nibble. Oh, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yes. That's why I can't, you know, I have to be careful around who I date. Oh, I didn't expect that answer, but okay. Because, you know, you start kissing, then you start eating, and then before you know, you've eaten somebody. There's a question from Angie, 341. Mm. Interesting. Angie. Yes, Angie. Sounds familiar. Anyways, um, Angie is asking, do you have any remorse for what you did? Yes, Dave. To whom? Um, I don't know. This person called Angie. Well, definitely not. If it's my wife, then no. Ex-wife. She deserved everything she got. Ex-wife, whatever. Oh, you still call her wife. Hmm. Huh. That's it. That's your answer. Yeah, fuck her. <laughs> Uh, you see, that's his tough exterior, but I I think that he cries every night. How would you know? Well, you never know where I am. You watch me sleep. I didn't say that. You know what I do. You know what I do after I cry, though, don't you? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> so, all what I'm hearing is you you have a crush on me. <laughs> Any your dreams, buddy. Well, you come over at night while I'm asleep and watch me secretly. Sound like you're obsessed with me. Well, that's... Listen, I have... She just is keeping an eye on you. Yes, to Make yes. sure you're not doing anything wrong. And you only keep eyes on people who you like. I keep eyes on people I don't like. Yeah. So watch out. Sure. It's for my own safety. The, li- the, the thin line between like and don't like is separated by one drink. Well, I don't drink. Ha ha. Hmm. I'm sure I can make you drink me up. Uh, This next question again for Dave from somebody called Bible. Bible? Yeah, Bible. How do you choose to... How do you choose your targets? How do you choose your target? How do you choose people you target? Okay. How do you choose people you target? Oh. I wish I could choose. You think I'd have chosen you? You receive a dossier from a senior hell figure and he tells you who you have to go after. I think it's based on some sort of ranking system. Hence why I'm stuck with such a fucking liability like you because I messed up my last one, didn't I? Well, I wanted to ask you actually, Dave. So you get assigned a human. Yes. By the 
top devil, I guess. Satan. Not the big, do- no, obviously, not not Satan. He doesn't have fucking time to be assigning people to people. He's normally just parching and fucking and stuff. No, it's, it's his underlings assign it. So the senior secretary to Satan normally gives me my dossier. Oh, so like our home secretary equivalent. Yeah, exactly. She's well of Braveman, exactly. Except she's oh. even more of a bitch than I wanted to ask you, are you like a lower ranked demon or a higher ranked what is your rank? Um, I would say if you have a roast dinner. Okay. I am the roast potatoes. Not quite the most important thing on the plate, but pretty damn important. That's an interesting explanation. You like, I like that? It. I because I know I know with you ladies, if I talk in food, you tend to understand easier. What is that supposed to mean? You know what? I don't want to know. Let's just take another question. Birchwell, Birchwell Slaughterhouse has just messaged in. Okay. Yeah, question for Angelina. Oh, me? Okay. Yes, he wants to know... How do you know um, it's a he? Yeah, you can't assume, Dave. Fucking hell, yes. it's, it's 2024, isn't it? Well, they they want to know, just so everyone knows, my pronouns are he and him. But they want to know... All right. Um, how old are you? How old I am? Oh, now you should... Never ask a lady that Are you breaking question. up, Angelina? You're conveniently breaking well, up. Well, let's just say I'm... Look at that. She broke her mic on purpose. She didn't have to answer. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> right, how old now? are you? Hello? We can. Yes, how old are you? So, let's just say I'm old enough to have seen the horrible things that people have done throughout the ages to one another and it bloody shows as well have you seen the crow's feet on this woman that's funny coming from somebody who is red and that's true i do you know but i've aged quite lusciously yeah that's what you think how old are you sue man um should i say it fucking old is the answer <laughs> no why are you asking me I knew it would make you uncomfortable. I'm in my late 20s. Very fucking late. Angelina, what are the misconceptions humans have about angels? Well, I think the biggest misconception is that angels are, you know, gonna treat everybody with respect and that as soon as they appear, that means you go to heaven. No, no, no. Angels can be quite vicious, you know, depending who you are. Like, if an angel can approach you if you're an evil person, and then you get your comeuppance. And let me tell you, it is not nice. Wow. Well, it, usually, when it's an evil person, angels will come in a form, the real biblical form, uh, of a big eyeball uh, surrounded yes. by different wings. And it is scary, let me tell you. So we are not, we don't look like, you know, these Renaissance paintings of no. beautiful angels with luscious golden locks. You know, some of us look like that, like Ange- Angela. But in reality, we, we, are, we, we can look quite terrifying. Oh my God. Oh my God, this guy just texted me back. You know, that guy I was talking to. Oh yes, what did you say? Mustafa. He's asking me something, I don't know how to answer it. What? Can oh, you cook? tell us, tell us. Say no. I'm just so nervous. I need your help, guys. And any listeners out there, please help me with this. I just, I'm so nervous right now. How do I answer this question? Why do they ask so many, like, complicated questions? Uh, What did he ask? He's asking, who's your favourite film director? Tell him Ridley Scott. Alfred Hitchcock. Both good answers. Right. Okay. Sorry, carry on, guys. I'll learn. You really need to learn some, you know. You're like, oh, I work in film. Do you know Ridley Scott? No, never heard what's, of him. What's Ridley Scott like? Is he like strong? Alien? Amazing. Gladiator. Amazing. Predator. No. M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> yes, M. M. Night Shyamalan, Shyamalan. The Mr. Twist. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to come across as complicated. Come on, guys. I can't keep you vain for so I mean, long. Em, we, we've given you a lot of fucking options there. Listen, M. Night Shyamalan. as long as you don't... As long as you don't say Woody Allen or Roman Pedolansky, that's good. Exactly. Bloody, then you'll be on the watch list. Yeah. Why don't I ask him to take a guess? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah? Keep him guessing. 
Yes. See? You go, girl. Well, how are you going to seduce him? How am I going to seduce him? Yes. Um, Just like I seduce every other guy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. So, fail miserably. Yes. Sorry, I'm joking. I think that's not a bad idea. I think you should maybe... You need to let him know that you can take care of him. So maybe send him a, send him a little picture, a little naughty picture of some food you've made. No, the idea is to act a little bit cute and a bit dumb. Like, oh my God, I couldn't sleep. And, you know, then say something really daft. But I tell you right now, if you say, oh my God, I couldn't sleep... So I went downstairs and made an absolute feast of a sandwich. He would be, I tell you right now, he would want to marry you like that. Mm. Really? Guys are that simple? Men like women who can cook and look after them. No, I don't want to cook and clean for him. I want him to do that for me. No, you need to, he, you need to let him think that you're able to do that. You don't actually have to do it. Like when men trick women into thinking they can give them orgasms and they start sleeping together and the men literally can't even make them feel even half an orgasm. You don't have to put in the work. You have to make them think that you can. I know, but isn't this podcast about being true to who you are and you're literally telling me on air to do the complete opposite? Yes, to lie. Well, sometimes, sometimes you have to lie to get what you want. Yes, but in the end of the day, he will find out sooner or later. And what does she exactly. do then? Exactly. And what if he's listening to this episode? He's going to think I'm a big fat liar. Well, I mean, how are you going to seduce him? You don't really have any skills, do you? Just, you know, why don't you invite him to dinner somewhere? Or lunch or brunch, whatever. He needs to invite me. He needs to take Why? The because he's a man and I'm a woman. This is the 21st century, woman. Thank why you. Why don't you... Get out of this antiquated traditional viewpoint but if you keep waiting for men to take the first step you'll never be happy look what happened with rob you're waiting for him to do the first step and he never did well he's not a true man is he then in my opinion also also you say you want traditional but you're not willing to cook and clean yes oh day i can't believe i'm so i'm so, honestly i'm agreeing with him today. angelina me and you today are on the same wavelength i can cook and clean as long as i Get some cooking and cleaning in return. How's that? Wait, so... Whoa, whoa, well, yeah, whoa, whoa. that's a good idea. But do you want him to ask you out and pay your yeah. bills, I presume? And no, the bill's fine. I can split the, the bill. The bill but... should be 50-50. This is the economy we live in now. I don't mind the bills, but he should, like, really take the lead. Right, so you take the lead in cooking and cleaning, and he takes <laughs> the lead in, in asking out, yes? Why are you on his side? <laughs> you two. Well, Suman, think of it this way. Why don't you invite him first? And then he'll think, Guys, oh, this is somebody who I've only been talking to for literally two hours. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. So he's an absolute rando. <laughs> well, look, if you're listening, Suman's a pretty good lass. It's bloody <laughs> annoying, though. Well, listen, Suman, if you keep talking with him in the next few days like, say, a week or two, then invite him out for cinema or for brunch because he might think, hey, what a cool girl. She's not traditional, so she she takes the initiative, so she knows what she wants. Oh, wait. I just noticed something. What? Oh, God. What? Guys, forget it. What happened? He blocked her already. It happens all the time. No. Unmatched her, probably. Does he already have a girlfriend? No. What is it? Come on, tell us. He smokes. Oh. What, like cigarettes? Yeah. Or like meth? Cigarettes. Well, that's oh. fine. No. no. that's a big no-no. Cigarettes, M they, they stink. Mm. Well, marry him and then... And he's on medication. Oh. So, oh, what sort of medication? That like penile Do stuff? You know, or... on Hinge, the pill sign, and it says, That's yes. not medication. That means they like doing recreational drugs. <gasps> really? Oh, so man, you really hit the jackpot. So you're dating a fucking smoking drug take. I told you, you know what? Suman's probably going to be the one doing heroin into her toes, not you, Angelina. Suman, block him immediately. He's no good for you. But I love him. I don't know about blocking him just because it's a little bit of drugs. I mean, everyone's done some drugs. Can I change? They? I can change him. My love probably changes. Exactly. Him. You can That's definitely change. That's what every woman him. says, and they don't change them. They just turn worse. You cannot change a person. Suman, the person you... has to change themselves. 
Don't listen to Angelina. A leopard can change their spots. No. And you can you can most definitely change this drug addled maniac into a into no. a lovely young man. <laughs> listen, this relationship is just bound to be doomed. Don't no, find somebody new. But Angelina, it doesn't does not the Bible and the Quran talk about forgiveness? About changing oneself and reaching out to those below you to lift them up. Love thy neighbor and all that. Suman's merely giving this man the love he deserves and doesn't have. Yes, but the Bible and Quran also says when people give in to their temptations, you have to tell them they're wrong. So he's already sinning by taking these substances. And is it not but a greatest person's duty but to help a sinner out in their time of need? Is Suman not really just doing the work of God? Yeah, but she can help him by, by blocking him. Suman will be hooked on hooked. Is it hooked or hooked? Suman will be hooked on hooked, hooked. I don't know. She'll be doing drugs by the end of the week. I mean, you talked about Los Angeles. So, Angelina, your Have microphone's you breaking Skid up again. Row? Yes, Angelina, you're breaking up again, just like my hopes of finding someone. Oh, my goodness. I've got a question for you. Yes. How many chickens do you think you could fight? At once. <laughs> what? Listen, Dave, can you hear me now? Yeah, sorry, go on, Angelina. Can you hear me now? It's all crackly. It's still crackly. Let the winds pass by. She's probably farting. Chickens? <laughs> Why would I fight it? She's behind. She's so behind. C can you hear me now? Yes, but I think you're well behind us. You're about 30 seconds behind us. Wait, wait. Uh... I connected to another broadband. Is this one better? Oh, she's stealing Ooh. broadband. Yes, it's actually a lot better. <laughs> no, I'm not. We have two broadbands in my household for <coughs> personal reasons. Anyway. So, wait, are you on the porn uh, Wi-Fi now or the non-porn Wi-Fi? Which one are you using? No, no, I don't watch those things. You know that. I'm oh, not I like see. you. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. You've been talking about how drugs are cool and all. I mean, you mentioned Los Angeles in this podcast. Have you seen Skid Row? Do you think those people live in heaven? No, but I mean, they've taken it too far. Look, it's like you don't eat a tub of ice cream every day, do you? You have maybe two a week. Same with drugs. Little here, little there. It's a little everywhere. Yes, but it affects your brain long Angelina, term. sorry to cut you off. Um, We haven't actually covered a lot of questions that have come through and some of the questions that I had brought in that I wanted to ask you and Dave. So let's just do a rapid fire round. Okay, good. Cause I'm not going to lie. I'm fucking knackered. I literally had about three hours sleep last night and my camera's not on right now, but my eyes are borderline closed. Okay, fine. Let's get started then. Who wants to go first? Is that a hand up, Dave? No, I'm just, I was balancing it on my penis and I was trying to, I was trying to, you know, it's, anyway, it doesn't matter. Sorry, apologies. What's your favourite temptation to use on humans? Greed. Angelina? Favourite temptation? No, no, you don't answer the same question I've asked him. You ask him a question you want to ask him. So we're just taking in turns asking questions. Do you still love Angela? Yes or no? No. I have passion for her and lust, but no love. Where did the love go? Well, that sounds like a famous 80s song. I don't know. Where did the love go? Is there something that surprises you about me? Um, I will actually be honest. Yeah, she's actually a pretty good producer. Oh, that's so nice. I think that too. What's slightly more surprising is how hairy her feet are. Proper Bilbo Baggins. Uh, wait a second. How do you know her feet are hairy? I see Suman's feet all the time. She's always getting them out, you know. <laughs> what, you have a foot fetish? <laughs> no, no, she just likes to show them off. You know, they're very hairy. It's quite, quite oh, impressive, I don't to be believe honest. That it's her I... party trick. No, that's a lie. Okay, it's a lie, yes, it's not true. No, honestly, something surprised me about her. She actually makes a really, really, really good cake. Oh, what kind of cake? Chocolate cakes are especially additive with a white chocolate drizzle. Oh, you never made a cake for me. The producer part, yes. 
thank you. The cake and the feet, no, that's all lies, everyone. Angelina, your turn. Oh, am I asking you now? Me. No, ask Dave. <laughs> oh, Fucking Dave's hell, Dave. Angelina, get with it. Well, I already asked you a couple of questions. Yeah, this is quick fire. Suman said four each. Boom, 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 boom. Do you, Dave, secretly want to be an angel? Hmm. No, I did think about it, but I think there's too many rules and restrictions for you guys. Well, the only restriction is to be good. Well, exactly. I mean, bloody hell. Oh, and I thought you could do anything. Yes, you can. I spent my afternoon, my afternoon spitting off a bridge onto people below me. You can't do that if you're an angel, can you? Well, no. If you could possess one supernatural power to further destroy and corrupt humanity, what would it be? Mm. 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 Probably mind control. We already have some sort. We already yes, have but it. not full level. I mean, I could literally sit back and just yum, 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 send rays around the world and people would do my bidding. So, like artificial intelligent evil? Yes, like a proper, like, mind. I just go, Suman, do this, boom, and you do it. That's black magic. Um, 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 um. Yes. Well, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you know, I don't really believe in magic. Wait, you want to be a cult leader? Is that it? Kind of. I mean, my job is to manipulate, so it'd make my job a lot fucking easier if I could just send a bat signal out and everyone do what I say. Oh, but you know what happens to cults? What? Well, sooner or later, somebody stitches and you all get... Well, you end up in jail. You all get arrested. Next one. What is that one thing you've never told me or a trick of yours that I am still naive about? So, you know how I've been, I've been keep sending you messages about baby toads? Mm-hmm. I've been trying to get you to eat a baby toad. Dave, that's a living being. <laughs> I what? know. <laughs> I, what did the I've baby toad do to you? I've been what? trying to, to slip them into her mouth in the night. What? But she, just, but, but she won't chew. She just won't chew, so the toad just walks out of her mouth. Well, she could suffocate. What's wrong with you? No, because they're baby toads. They're very small. <laughs> well, still... well, why would you want to do that for? I thought more like in terms of mind games. Oh, not... Oh, sorry. Yeah. In terms of mind games, oh, well... First you were into goats, now you're into baby toads. What's no, that? No. <laughs> Elephants? <laughs> no, that, they're a bit big for me. No, I mean, in terms of mind games, yes. Well, remember that competition that you applied for, that funding for the short film you want to make? Yeah. Oh. Yes, that's not real. <gasps> just, I just, you look so bored. I thought, let me give this girl something to do. And I sent you that application so you'd have, have a nice thing to do to keep you busy for a week. That is horrible. So where did my application fee go? Well, to me, of course. And I know you missed your grandma's funeral while you were applying for it. But I thought at the time it would be a good thing for you not to go to the funeral. Just to keep you busy, you know. I was looking out for you. And I thank you for the £500 entry fee. I am speechless. Absolutely speechless. My grandma would not be proud. Dave, this is evil on another level. What? How could you do such a thing? Toying with people's emotions. Well, you know... She, and she careers. Was, yes! She, was, she needed to keep busy. I was trying to keep her mind off things. Yes, but you lied to her. You gave her false yeah. hope. Well, you know, it was very funny watching her sweat for hours filling in this application form for something that's not even real. Oh, Dave. Oh, I'm so sorry, Suman. Besides, I saved the world from having to see her short film. It's fucking atrocious. No, it is not. Have you read the script? Yes, and it is very clever. It's about some guy who loses his memory and has to speak to the angel of death? Bullshit! No, it's a very interesting <laughs> concept. Just because your imagina imagination is flat. Okay, let's move on to asking Angelina questions in turn. That's me and Dave asking Angelina questions about, you know, how it's like to be an angel. Sorry, Angelina, we don't have a lot of time because Dave's eaten it all. So we're just going to have to cut this really short, okay? Oh, it's all right. I'll go th first. Go on, you. Do you ever wish you were blonde? 
Dave, ask intelligent questions. What? What's wrong with us? You're fucking asking me about whether I fuck fucking goats and shit. Okay, go on. Fine, ask. No, I like my hair color. See? I've asked her. She said she liked it. What is that one thing that you find irresistible, but it's a bad thing and you can't really do it as an angel? So you have to really like resist it. What is that? Oh, I can't reveal that because they will keep it above I know, my... but it's a rapid fire. Come on. Okay. Well, once I put laxative in a cake. Oh, bloody hell. Whose cake? Well, there was a Suman. Really... No. No, no. I was in a coffee shop and there was th there was this really rude Karen. She was really nasty to the waitress. So I went up to her and said, hey, do you want to get rid of this nasty old hag? And I put some laxative, and she spent the rest like a like an hour in the bathroom, and she clogged it in the end. So she was humiliated in front of everybody, and it felt good. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay. And God didn't punish me because I actually helped the waitress. Have you ever thought about dating a devil? Oh no, that's a taboo. I can end up in hell if I do that. Okay, interesting. Suman? What do you get tempted? Like, can devils tempt angels? Other than me. I resist the good chocolate. I, need to, I think you need to swap to the other Wi-Fi. <laughs> a whole new world. Which, what song is that? It's from Jasmine and Princess Prin Aladdin. Um, you know... Entirely different point of view. You sang this before. It's been in my head. Yes, it's from the. Uh, it's when he takes from the magic carpet and sing to me. I can be a whole new world for you. A whole new world. Don't you ever look inside. A whole new world. Let me grab you by your thighs, and I will look in your eyes as slowly I slide. Inside you and we make love for the first time. Is this how the lyrics are? That's made up lyrics. It's a children's show. He doesn't talk about <laughs> sliding inside her. <laughs> it's for little kids. Okay, well, on that note, I don't know where Angelina's gone. We've talked about temptations and I think she's probably avoiding that question. But uh, my last question was, my last question to you both was, what have you learned from this podcast? Honestly, not to trust anybody you're dating. Um, what are you trying to say? Well, I'm trying to say that even people who are supposedly good, like yourself, still cannot be trusted. And also, I can't be trusted. Every girl I've dated can't be trusted. Every one of my friends who's dating a girl can't be trusted. So I think essentially, don't trust. Just plow. We don't want to end on a negative note. There must be something positive. I mean, mm, come on. Like, we've got so many episodes that we've done together. You must have learned yes. something. I think you have to be yourself at all times, even if it means that people might shun you for it. Mm -hmm. Be yourself and you will have mental health. Yes. That's a nice little rhyme. Everyone say it with me. Be yourself and you will have mental health. That's amazing. Thank you. We could have that on a on a t-shirt. Oh, we could. But also, if you can't be yourself, if it gets in the way of what you want to achieve, then just be somebody else for a bit, you know, until you achieve what you want and then go back to being yourself. Like fake it till you make it. Exactly. Say some you're on a date with some lovely fella or some lovely lass and they say they love trains and you fucking hate trains, or just go, Oh, yes, I fucking love trains. Then have sex with them and then leave them and go, I fucking hate trains and you. No. No, is that not right? Oh, I don't know. I'm not too sure then. I'm... Dave, can you find out why Angelina is still not back with us? I think she's gone. Oh, shall we go as well? Shall we call it a day? I think we should. To be honest, I, my washing machine has been beeping, telling me to hang up my clothes. And look at the size of me. My jumpers, it's so hard to hang up sheets. I'm literally like, uh, 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 you know. Okay. Well, what we'll do is um, I'll have, a conversation backstage with Angelina and... Is she stuffing her face again? I don't know. Maybe, you know what I've been thinking recently? Mm. Maybe she's dating somebody secretly. No. 
because she's always going off at random times, messaging and tapping me on her phone. She says because she's got bad internet. I think that's bullshit. What? I think she's got bad intentions. <gasps> Maybe she's even talking with another podcast. No. No, no, no. Yes. There's a new Angels R Us podcast. Why does everybody do that to me? I will never leave you, Sue, man. Oh, please. I'll always be here with you, oh. holding your hand and stroking your hair, whispering sweet nothings into your ear. You're always safe with Dave. <laughs> On that note, see you guys next episode. Bye, and let's see if you can get a boyfriend by the time next episode starts. Mm -hmm. I'll certainly try.